Golgotha, also known as Calvary, is the place outside Jerusalem where Jesus Christ was crucified. The name Golgotha is derived from the Aramaic word for skull, and Calvary comes from the Latin term Calvaria, which also means skull. This name may refer to the shape of the hill or to its association with death. The crucifixion of Jesus is a pivotal event in Christian theology, marking the climax of Jesus' earthly ministry. According to the Gospels, the events leading up to the crucifixion began with Jesus' betrayal by Judas Iscariot. Jesus was arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane and taken to a series of trials before the Jewish Sanhedrin, the Roman governor Pontius Pilate, and King Herod. Despite finding no fault in Jesus, Pilate ultimately succumbed to the pressure of the crowd, which demanded Jesus' crucifixion. To appease them, Pilate washed his hands symbolically, declaring his innocence of Jesus' blood and handed Jesus over to be crucified. Jesus was forced to carry his own cross to the site of execution. Due to the severe beating and scourging he had endured, Jesus struggled under the weight of the cross. A man named Simon of Cyrene was compelled by the Roman soldiers to help Jesus carry it. Jesus was nailed to the cross, with a sign above his head reading, Jesus of Nazareth, King of the Jews, in Latin, Ainari, Jesus Nazarene. He was crucified alongside two thieves, one on his right and one on his left. The Gospels detail various events and sayings of Jesus while he hung on the cross. Jesus said all these words before he died. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. To the repentant thief, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. To his mother Mary and the disciple John, woman, behold your son. And to John, behold your mother. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? I thirst, it is finished. Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Soldiers and onlookers mocked Jesus, challenging him to save himself and come down from the cross if he truly was the Son of God. According to the Gospels, from noon until 3 p.m., darkness fell over the land. At the moment of Jesus' death, the curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. There was an earthquake and tombs broke open. Jesus died after several hours on the cross. His body was requested by Joseph of Arimathea, a secret disciple, who placed it in a new tomb. Nicodemus, another member of the Sanhedrin who had visited Jesus at night, helped Joseph with the burial preparations. They wrapped Jesus' body in linen cloths with spices according to Jewish customs. The crucifixion of Jesus is central to Christian belief, as it represents the atoning sacrifice for humanity's sins. Christians believe that Jesus' death fulfilled Old Testament prophecies and that his resurrection three days later demonstrated his victory over sin and death, offering eternal life to all who believe in him. Golgotha remains a powerful symbol of sacrifice, redemption, and the transformative power of love in Christian theology.